Hi, I'm Odell Borg. And we're here to create a, creating this video to give you a few suggestions on how to sell the flute. I know many of you uh, have never played a flute before, or actually you do play, but you have never taught before. So when a customer comes in the store and they're starting to look at the flutes, it's really a good idea to engage them. Ask, make a statement, ask a question, just to get them involved. So for instance, oh, you play the flute? Or have you, oh yeah, you played musical instruments? They will respond to you. Oh no, I've never played one before. Oh yeah, I play guitar or I play silver flute. And when you ask questions, the answers are always a lead to be able to teach them or show them or how to, or how to present the flute to them. If they've never played a flute before, a flute before uh, the best thing is to do is to pick one up, grab one of your little hygienic flute straws, put it inside, get it ready for them to play, and go ahead and show them how simple it is. Oh, it's so easy to play. All you have to do is just close these five holes. Close the five holes and blow nice and easy. Would you like to try? Now, most of your customers will go, oh, okay, if it's that easy, I'll give it a try. And you explain to them that the hygienic flute straw is theirs and it's disposable and it's there to keep them safe and they'll be encouraged to try it. You're going to find a few people that are, they're pretty shy and they just, they don't feel like taking a chance or, or taking the risk. In that case, if they say no, it's best not to pressure them. So it's, oh, well, show, let me show you. It's just as simple as closing these five holes and blowing. So obviously that means you've tried it yourself. And we really encourage you, you don't have to learn to play a flute necessarily to, uh, to really be a professional or even be all that adept at it. If you, the store owner, or the person, the salesperson in the store can just play it up and down the scale once. It will impress the customer, believe me. Let's say the customer does want to try it you basically walk them through it. So show them, you just close these five holes, put the flute in their hand, and before they put it in their mouth, they are going to close the five holes. Now the natural inclination is to use your fingers like this, straight up. Tell, tell them that it's best to have a flat finger so that the meat of your finger right in the center is covering the hole because it's very important to be able to cover the hole. If you don't cover all the holes, you're going to get a squeak then just ask them to blow slowly into it, nice and gently. If they don't get a, a real nice warm tone out of it, like that means one of the holes is not closed. Tell them that, encourage them. Oh, basically, this is really easy. Just, you're doing good. Just close one of the, make sure all the holes are closed, feel them a little bit, and maybe point out to the one you think is probably not closed, and try to have them try it again. Nice. The other aspect to it is if you're getting, if all the finger holes are closed and they're blowing too hard, it's, only, it's going to go to the next octave. So ask them, you can hear it, you can feel it. Just ask them to go ahead and back off under breath a little bit. Now encourage them to open the first hole, the bottom hole. Next. Next. Then ask them to take a nice deep breath and blow a little bit harder. That's as simple as that. And encourage them, oh, there you go, and that's it. That's as simple as that. Once they achieve that, you'll see it a glint in their eye. Oh my gosh, this is easy, I can do this. Then have them go down. Uh-oh, that just means they didn't cover the bottom hole all the way. <clears throat> That's very common because we have to stretch our finger a little bit lower. So let them know that. Just move your hands down, your finger down a little bit and close it. And have them do the process all over again. Have them try it a couple of times and then let them play with the flute. Let them enjoy it. Because the more they play with it, the more likely they're going to connect with it and they're going to want one at home. Now those that are already playing an instrument, uh, if they play a guitar or a, a piano, an, an instrument other than a wind, wind instrument, like a flute, that means <clears throat> they have not played this instrument before. So they will need a little bit of guidance. Again, make sure all the holes are closed, just like you did with a beginner. 
but they'll pick it up pretty quick. One reason is that they're very comfortable with instruments already. Now, someone that has played a transverse flute before, like this, believe me, they're going to pick that up and boom, make it happen. But if you see that you hear them screeching a little bit, guide them. Oh, it just means one of the holes is, clo is not closed all the way. But for the, most, for the most part, they'll be able, to, be able to pick up any flute at that point. Now, throughout this whole process, what's really important is to mention continually the DVD and booklet that comes free with every flute by just letting them know all the information I'm giving you right now is right on the DVD and more. All the information that you're learning right this second, you'll be able to watch it at home and be, and be able to be, be successful with it. So I would recommend that you mention this at least two or three times throughout your presentation. It makes the, co feel, the customer feel very comfortable and they're going to know, oh, I can go home and I'll be able to do this without taking you along to teach them. So it's an important, this is really an important tool. Now, what flute to recommend? If it's a beginner, I would highly recommend uh, that they start with an a, an, the key of A, the Sparrowhawk. It's the deepest tone under $100, and it's the deepest tone that uh, has the fingering holes relatively close together. Now, if you have a beginner customer that has large hands, some of the men have really large fingers, and just try it. Have them say, gosh, you, you might want, you have good sized hands, you might want to try a G. If they're successful with it, then they have a choice. You can go with a G and an A. And most of the time they'll go, if, if money's not an issue, they'll tend to go with a G because they love the deeper tones. Someone that's played an instrument before, I would definitely give them a choice between an A or a G. And the G flute is a little bit bigger and also has a little bit deeper voice. So give them the choice at that point. What's really important is not steer them towards the most expensive flute. Now here's the reason why. If they come and buy an A flute and they get hooked and they love it, they're going to come back after they play for a while and buy the deeper tone flute. Then they'll buy a G. After they bought a G, they'll come back when they have a, a birthday or their wife will come back and they'll buy an F sharp or a bass flute. So it really behooves you not to necessarily push the most expensive flute because the ideal flute is the one that they can learn to play quickly and easily and motivate them to have a flute collection. And they'll come back to you to do that. It's really important for you to be able to encourage them and make them feel comfortable, especially the beginners, because we've never played an instrument before. You feel a little bit insecure. You don't want to make, make, be, look foolish. Just make them feel at home. That's the most important part. So to summarize, it's really important to teach them how to play, show them, ask questions, ask the question, an introductory question that gives you information that allows you to really be able to guide them. Give them continually the information about the DVD and the booklet so they feel comfortable when they go home that they know they can go ahead and continue to learn and guide them to the right flute so that they, when they go home, they'll be able to be successful. There's very little pressure needed to sell these instruments. Their sound and their beauty are heartfelt. And if someone's gonna connect, believe me, once you show them, they're going to make a decision one way or the other without you. So just present the flute, talk to them about the DVD and the booklet, and most of the time, someone will walk home with the flute.